Um, do you think the youth voices are well represented? Um, I don't think so. I don't think the youth uh, voices are uh, represented well because um, we only tend to hear, you know, it's about entertainment and or love stories. I mean, the, the, it's the same the, concept. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's always the same concept. The youth need to be educated. They need some, they need some, uh, some uh, strong um, answer like a story, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like something, someone that just represents the youth in a radio station, like someone that just focuses on like, It's not to say that entertainment is not a good thing for yeah. youth. It is definitely good for mm -hmm. like yeah. how oh, We need to have fun as mm -hmm. a youth. But you know, I, I just feel like growing up, there are so many things that yeah. go on in our lives daily and daily, like um, disappointments, joy, and whatever, like the list goes on. But like, we need to strengthen those weaknesses through radio to um, encourage our youth, you know, with everything that is going on because it can lead confusion in people's heads, especially when you're young, sorry. And I just feel like if we strengthen those weaknesses, like the youth will come out more, you know, and like they'll, they'll feel like, okay, people understand what I'm going through, you understand, instead of just like, okay, you know, I'm gonna. Um, like I'm gonna change my mood because it's entertainment. No, you need encouragement. You know, like through radio, like not only television, not only newspapers. Like radio is a, like a, a perfect platform for people to just see the, themselves through other people's lives. You know. And what you said, like I asked my brother this morning, like, uh, do you ever listen to radio? Yeah, I listen to radio because it's music playing on, like just to listen to new songs. But is Radio all about music and etc. They, like, they have lost the whole concept yeah, they of what radio lot, yeah. is. Yeah, so but true. as as young, just like someone said, as youngsters, we our life is just not about happiness all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what Sometimes yeah. we like sad and like we have uh, we go through difficult times. Like we need people to like just give us some advice rather than us just like know I'm young and like. We ignore like our inner, like our inner selves. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. How can radio better incorporate youth voices and issues? If we take the youth more seriously, okay. In terms of radio, you know, like there's so many issues going on in Namibia. They can be cliche. It's it's so much cliche. I know. Uh, dump, baby dumping and stuff like that, violence and everything that's going on. It's so cliche, but I know it is happening, you know. But then if we look deep into it and put it more on radio, like in a sensible way, then I think that we can get the message and maybe, you know, not maybe, definitely, I think that the, 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 the voices will be heard and we should come up, like we can do so many things like dramas, like through radio, you know, we can play dramas, we can do anything, just what, like in, in, in terms of, you know, when you play the drama, it should be of that certain topic so that people can relate and learn. In that specific drama, you come up with options and solutions and like step by step so that people can get the message and just understand what's going through and maybe the issues can be changed and uh, you know, the voices will be heard. And so many people can come through on radio and talk about their stories, you know. And, and also to add on, on the, uh, the voices to be, aid, to be added, I think when we use uh, the youth themselves, you know, to, to, to have to have like a news and current affairs, like a kiddies news and current affairs something in, on the yeah, radio, it is. and that's what Misa is also doing with the uh, children in the, in the media. Mm -hmm. That's what they uh, want to implement to, to to use the youth, not only you know using an adult in, in place of uh, yeah, like use the youth, youth to yeah. capture the youth. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. You should involve the youth by hiring them, give them these platforms and jobs, but yeah. I once applied a job in this guy told me like, no, you are too young. Yeah, they <laughs> in my first year, in oh my God, yeah. For me, it's like, we can use, if we use the youth more, you know, at, at different stages, or so we might be inexperienced, mm -hmm. but for you to take us in can get us experience, you know, and we have fresh ideas, and you know, just to get away from the bad stuff as well, you know, it's, as long as you have something to do, to keep some, us like, exactly, yeah. sometimes it keeps us from doing the wrong thing, you learn in the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think we even find it better that it's better to like, do something for yourself and for the youth just to go out because if they do not get jobs and stuff it is basic they just feel like okay so they aren't doing anything then they do they start drinking and stuff and then they just divert from what they actually wanted so i think they the youth should be given the opportunity mm -hmm. to um mm -hmm. get established in such platforms but i think like why the youth the youth is like somehow excluded from all these things because of the stereotypes you have created all the time 
like you said when you talked about entertainment and stuff like mm -hmm. that, like uh, the youth at times they are afraid to like actually come out the registrations because like if like uh, let me say for instance um, if you don't like you don't go out and stuff like that or they don't go out yeah um, to that point I don't think they are afraid I think they just locked down I, I think they are just um, their doors are just like shut down. Limit. Yeah, and they are not really given this platform, this opportunity to do what they want to do. That's why they they gave up hope. That's why, um, as Ronyal said, they go um, out there using uh, drug mm -hmm. abuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and they <laughs> use that to escape. Yeah, to, yes. keep in mind they use that yeah. to escape when we can do something to, to you know to keep them going. And with this, the parents that are not talking to the children about sex, mm -hmm. radio, that should be a platform for us to be able to ask questions like, what's this, what's a condom, how do you use a condom, stuff like that. Because now you, you, the child is pregnant, but you haven't spoken to your child about no use contraceptives. If, you think, if you're thinking about having sex, come mm -hmm. to me, I'm your mother, talk to me. They don't have radio. that, and we should have that platform on radio. Yeah. I think by, uh, they, can, they can also do it by blending entertainment and education. Yeah, more often because we only hear entertainment and education, education separately. Is you know, so that's that's maybe the uh, one concept that. They and it's just think. like education is just like one program. Yeah, one program. Like yeah. In once a week or once in a month. Yeah. You understand? But I think so the reason why that is because that's like, like a same thing that their ratings go down. When it's an educational program. That is where where they should blend education and entertain entertainment to make you want to listen. And while you're listening, then you're learning without knowing that you're learning. It should be a bonus to us. Yeah, and coming in more with uh, magazine programs, documentaries, because we only hear the calling, um, calling yes. shows, SMS lines, SMS lines. Like, what is that? And, stuff. and I think that the fact that there's so many weaknesses in radio is that we use the same people over and over and over, yeah. using that excuse of people not being experienced enough. But I think that as, as, as a young person, you know, you've gone through certain stages in your life as well that you can talk to up like in radio and people can relate to it. You understand? That will cater a lot of audience to participate in. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure that people will take up something to go within their lives, learning from other people's experiences as well. Hopefully, radio will be taken more seriously because I don't think it's really taken that seriously in America because it's not visual. Like, I'm just stuck up on this because I know it happens so much because people always concentrate on, on newspapers or television because they can see what's happening. But the fact that we can, like, radio can, like, we can see so many things on radio, you understand? Even if they don't see the picture, like, we put so much effort in it for them just to understand what's really going on radio. Hopefully it can be taken seriously. Yeah, like, we a, make it look, like, simple, but it's actually very, it's a complex process for you to produce a whole program. And sometimes you go on air and you'll be like, will they take me seriously? What am I going to say? How am I going to project my voice? You know, you think of all of those stuff and it's just so people can actually um, hear you and hear what you're actually saying.